In the following presentation we're going to look at defining solid tools and turrets in lathe. So we're in the lathe module we're going to go to the file menu and open and then here we have a file called external rougher. This file is made up of various solids and a 2D geometry that represents the, the tip of the tool. We're going to go to the machine menu, we're going to define a tool and we're going to go to access tool one programming point so pick the 2D geometry and pick the tool to bark. So here we're familiar with this tool number, clearance angle of 5 degrees and we're going to use advanced graphics. Edge tip relationship. Now what it's asking me for is a turret location point. This corresponds to a point on the turret itself which we'll see later on. It's now asking me to select geometries for the tool graphics, which are the solids here, so apart from the 2D geometry. And then finish, gives me a preview of the tool, and now asks me to save it away, and I'm saving it as external rougher. So if we go to the file menu now, and we go to new, I'm now going to go to a new pane in the project manager, which is turrets. I'm going to load a turret. Turrets can be from solids or extruded or revolved 2D geometry. And here we have a turret. If I move down the turret locations, they're highlighted. And if I look at my empty one, I can see that um, turret position that corresponds to the one on the tool. So I'm going to right click, load a tool, my external rougher. These are familiar with these settings, and it puts the tool in position ready to go. We're now going to set the turret home position, so we're going to right click. So we're going to put an X value of 600 and a Z value of 400. And while we're here, we're also going to set our tool change position. So set tool change position, X is going to be 200, Z is going to be 100. So now what we're going to do is um, read in a solid model. So we're going to go to Input CAD Parasolid. Bring my simple solid in, which has got some 2D um, machining on it, and it's got some periphery holes. Let's just refresh. So we're now going to go to the 3D menu, Solid Model Extract, and we're going to do a spun outline. So it creates the geometry and also puts it on the work plane for me. I've got my 2D geometry to machine, but what I need now is my billet. So I'm going to create a, a line from X0, Z1, 1 mil on the front face. Now it's asking me my diameter value. Um, I brought this from a model, so I'm not sure what it is. So I'm going to use a tip, which is the same endpoint of here for my X. And I'm going to add some stock. And my Z is the same as the last Z. And now I'm going to do the same for the Z, so it's the same as the endpoint of there. It's OK to that. I don't want this to be a bar, I want it to be a slightly different billet shape, so I'm going to use the chamfer command by 10 to 20. OK, so if we go to the ISO view now, cancel my work plane. What I want to do is just feature extract one of the holes. So we're going to go to 3D, solid model extract, drillable hole extraction. Set that. And it finds that 2D geometry for me, which we're going to machine later on. I'm now going to select a tool, but rather than go from the machine menu, I'm going to select it from the turret. So I'm just going to right click, select a tool and it indexes my external rougher into position. I'm going to go to the machine menu now and I'm going to do some conventional turning, some facing. Select the billet, select the part, zero stock, width of cut, tool number speeds and feeds, and how do I want to get from tool change position to start of cut. I'm going to use the same tool now um, to do my roughing on the OD. So conventional turning again, roughing on the diameter. Select the billet. Pick start point on part. Well, I've already faced it to size, so I'm going to start at the beginning of the radius and go to the end of the part. 
Pick point on tool side of geometry is it OD or ID. Let's just put some stocks in here. Depth of cut. Tool numbers, fees and fees, and I'm going to use linear because can cycle only does a bar for me. Now it's saying how do I want to move from the end of my facing operation to the start of my roughing operation. And I'm going to come out in Z so I'm well away from the part and it puts a rapid move of 10mm off the front face. I'm now going to select another tool. So I'm going to go back to my turret and right click my external finisher and select. It now wants to know my previous tool how I want to get back to the tool change position. And I'm going to go direct. I'm now going to go to the machine menu. Again, conventional turning, and I'm going to do some finishing. Pick start point, again the start of the radius, and then the end point. Keep going. Tool number speeds and feeds, default lead in lead outs. How do I want to get from tool change position to start of cut? Now because I've selected the tool from the turret rather than from machine select tool, it, the um, operations are the same color, but I know how to change this. I can just edit tool color. Let's change it to red so we can see a difference there. What I now want to do is um, to select the tool to drill the holes. If I go to my turret, I can just um, look at the different locations and it highlights the tools in the turret. So I've got um, periphery drills and axial drills here, so I need to select the one. So I highlight it, select the tool, go to tool change position for the last tool. How do I want to get there? Okay, let's go to the ISO view. So now what I want to do is I want to drill this hole. So I'm going to go to the machine menu. C axis machining, drill tap holes or to Z. I'm going to do some pecking. Peck distance of two. Select the geometry and then finish. So what I now want to do is rotate this, so I'm going to cancel the work plane. I'm going to select the tool sorry, the tool path from the project manager. So I'm going to use the rotate command which tool path I want to, and I can see the color is the same. Liner axis of rotation, revolution, angle of 90, and how many copies including the original four. So that's my part machined. What I can now do is a solid simulation. And play. So we can see the tool coming in and we can also see the turret moving and as it changes tool we can see the tool indexing. It drills the holes on the outer diameter.